I'm Kate and today I'm going to be talking to you all about my July beauty favorites. Now last month I did all makeup, this month, I was gonna say this year, whoa. But this month I'm going to be doing some makeup and beauty favorites because I've kind of been falling into a little bit of a makeup routine where I'm just kind of doing the same thing so I didn't really experiment with a lot of different things but I have got to tell you I am so excited that it is going to be August or it is August by the time that this video goes live and I am just hyped for the fall. I feel like September 1st is typically when I allow myself to bring out like all of the pumpkin scents and even then people might be like slow your roll it's a little too soon but this year I feel like August 1st might be when I burst out all of my pumpkin flavored things and all of the pumpkin lotions. I am just super excited for fall even more so this year. So I was kind of just over summer makeup like right quick where it was like you know like really dewy and the bold lips and the really fun fingernails. I was just like I'm ready. I'm ready to move on to fall. So I'm kind of in that transition between like with my look today where the lips are just a little bit deeper and I think it's kind of fun to take your summer makeup and to transition it into fall. So that's what I'm super excited about and that was one of my July favorites essentially is that July is over. <laughs> Oops, sorry, not sorry. So if you like this video and you would like to hang out with moi every Monday and Friday, I would love for you to tap that red subscribe button down below. Is it on this side? Is it on this side? I don't know, but there's like a red rectangle that says subscribe on it. And if you would like to become a part of the glam fam, then go ahead and tap that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the future fun. All right, let's jump right into it. I'm going to be sharing with you is something that I need to use right away because my hands are super dry. This is by Tony Moly and yes this is a banana and you should see the strange looks I get from people when I pull a banana out of my purse and then proceed to use it as lotion because this is magic food banana hand milk and you squeeze the banana <laughs> like this. Oops, just sucked in like half of what I wanted. So then you just rub it into your hands and it's a super light, like real banana smell. It's not like fake, like runts, like that kind of like fake banana taste. This is just really light and fruity, <laughs> obvi. And I think it's also a really cool product because who doesn't want a banana in their purse? I think it looks super cute when it's sitting in your bag and it just makes me happy every time I pull this out and I get people like, is that a banana? And I'm like, yes, would you like some? <laughs> So I think it's super fun and it's uh, it's a great conversation starter. So if you would like to talk to people about random lotion bananas, then this is the way to go. So on to the makeup. I have been really, really over liquid foundations, like stick foundations, any kind of liquid. I'm just, I don't want to cake it on my face anymore. And whenever I went to go do my makeup, it was like, ugh. like I already don't feel like doing my brows. So I get those done and over with first of all. And then when it comes to foundation, I'm just like over it. Cause I don't want to put the primer on and then the foundation and then the concealer. And then you set everything before you finally get to like do your makeup. So for me, I've been really into powder foundations because I skip the primer, I skip concealer, and I go straight to the powder and then get to do like, you know, the fun part of your makeup. So what I have been using this month are my Laura Geller powder foundations. Now I did a video exclusively about this showing my routine where I think I did a concealer and a primer and stuff, but really I've just been skipping it. I put moisturizer on, I let that sit for like 10 minutes, and then I go in with this. And I just tried a new trick this morning using a different kind of a product just to like do a little spot concealing. So if that works, I will show you like a new foundation routine coming up probably in the next couple of months. I really want to test it and get used to it and get really good at it before I film a video and share it with you. The something. This is the Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation and I have used the shade the shade Fair quite a lot, but this is just a touch too dark for me right now. So what I have been doing is using that and then going in with the same exact product except in the shade Porcelain. So I will especially, 
That's great. It's a great time to wear black leggings. It's all over. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> anyway, so I've really been taking porcelain and putting it right underneath my eyes just to really brighten up that area and then to go over the rest of my face that I've already used fair just to lighten up the shades. They don't have a ton of shades of this, which I wish they did because I am right in between these two. So right now I'm just using them in combination with each other and it's working out quite well. So if you are looking for a good powder foundation, I'd say that this one is really, really excellent and it gives a fair amount of coverage. I mean, this is what I'm wearing today are these two and I've been really, really happy with it. So there you go. So the next two products, I can definitely sense that there is a shift in the makeup industry going from like the super matte liquid lipsticks back to glosses because I think everybody has become super saturated with all of the matte lip colors and like now it's time for something different. So we're all going back to the gloss, but it's not just like the super cute fruity tube glosses that we know from like 2003 and Mean Girls. So... <laughs> All of my references are pretty much just chick flicks, which is kind of funny. Oh, chick flicks and Christmas movies and Hallmark movies that are Christmas. <laughs> so the two glosses that I've been reaching for a ton, this one is by Benefit and this I believe is new. This is their Punch Pop and this one is in the shade Pinkberry. Now they have a ton of shades of this and I wasn't sure which one I was going to try so I was trying to like look it up online really quick when I was in Ulta and this one just felt like the perfect everyday beautiful lip color and I feel like this is just so deeply pigmented and it lasts an extraordinarily long time for for lip gloss and it's just beautiful. It's that mauve toned everyday lipstick shade that you just, you always want to have. And so this is definitely the one I've been reaching for. I will use it sometimes with a lip liner, but really just going in and using this. And it looks so pretty when you just have fresh glowy makeup, not even any eyeshadow, just mascara, and you put this on, it's just beautiful. And in the same vein, I have this one by Smith and Cult. This one is, I think, more expensive than that one, but it is absolutely gorgeous. This one is in the shade Now Kith. <laughs> Not kidding. K-I-T-H is the word, which I think is hysterical. And again, along the same lines as that same color, except this one is a little bit more... Mm, not as berry toned. This one is a little bit more ashy, but as you can tell, I'm definitely drawn to this color, especially with opaque lip glosses. I think it's just gorgeous. And I feel like I need to do a new video on my favorite opaque or actually like colored lip glosses because you all seem to really love my best drugstore lip gloss video, but those were all kind of like lipstick toppers or ones that like you wouldn't wear on their own. But if you would like to see my favorite actually like colored lip glosses, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will totally do that for you. And you can also put in a request for like my favorite red lip glosses or I guess I would all just be included in the same video. So just kidding. But I will totally make that video if you were looking to just wear lip gloss on its own. I think it's such a pretty more natural and elegant look. I really, really like it, even though today I'm wearing a completely matte lip because I'm still super into it. Slowly transitioning into glasses, though. Today was just a matte lipstick kind of day. So the highlight that I've been absolutely loving is limited edition. And I don't know if they're coming back out with it, but I really hope that this becomes a staple. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. This is the best thing on the planet. The best highlighters. I have two of these because I knew I was just going to be so in love with them. Just look at these shades. They're absolutely stunning. And even though some of these colors look like they might be not as wearable as others, I'm wearing 
kitty cat right here on my cheeks today and as you can tell it's just a beautiful glow it's not like super peachy even though it might look like it might show up that way it's just stunning so if I can put my vote in to Anastasia the brand to have them make this uh, just always readily available then I feel like I could use this more often because I'm so protective of it even though I have a backup because I really want to make this last for as long as possible but it's it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be loving this always. I feel like not a lot of highlights stand up to the quality and the showiness of these highlights. I feel like a lot of highlights are just very demure and that's a very pretty look. But for me, I definitely like this middle of the road highlight because I feel like other highlights you can add like um, fix plus to it and it would really like really really boost your highlight but I like this right in the middle where you look like you're glowing but it's not like beaming you know so this is my official vote for having this be officially part of their lineup because I think it's just gorgeous and the light pink glittery packaging doesn't get any better than this so Please, please, Anastasia, bring it back. Bring it back. So when summer rolls around, I get extremely dry skin, even though people try to tell you that in the winter is when you're supposed to get really, really dry skin. But I don't know if I just, I love winter and my skin is happiest when it is cold and dry and snowy outside. I don't know, but in the summer, I swear to you, everything dries out and I'm super uncomfortable. So when I saw this at Nordstrom's anniversary sale, my heart got very happy. So this is Lanolin Body Cocoa Nutter Body Milk. So this is a nice hydrating thick lotion that smells like coconuts. So it's perfect for the summer and for me. This came in a three pack. There's a body lotion, a hand lotion, and a lip balm, which is absolutely phenomenal. I wish I had it in here, but it looks just like this, just like meh, this big. And it actually really, really heals your lips. Sometimes you can put like lip balms and stuff on and it just, it makes your lips feel good temporarily, but it doesn't really heal anything. But the lanolin that is actually included in these products heals your lips. And I have been struggling with dry lips for like an age and a half. So to have something that actually is going to heal them makes it actually more fun to put on lipsticks even because it just looks so much better when your lips are happy. So if this is still available or even if you just want to get it at like non-anniversary prices, then I would definitely suggest going and checking this out. I think it's the cutest little logo. It's this little lamb and I just think it's adorable and it smells so good. So if you are dry in the summer like I am, because we're weird like that, then this is for you. So in the summer, I also love to give my hair a little bit of a break and I like to put in a sea salt texturizing spray and just let it like, you know, when you do like your little sprunchy and then you let it dry and it looks all like beachy wavy mermaidy. So this is my favorite product, but I don't even know when the last time this was made. <laughs> So again, another vote to have this be included in another official lineup. So this is Victoria's Secret Hair Beach Hair Wave Spray with UV Absorber. I feel like this just works the best for me, but I just kind of wanted to tell you how I've been doing my hair lately, even though you can't purchase this yourself. However, there is a line, I think it's called Not Your Mother's, and they have a wonderful sea salt texturizing spray. I just didn't bring it in with me. It is in there, it's in my cabinet, and I absolutely love to use that one too but I'm just trying to use this guy up before I go start using a new product and so I'm just absolutely loving that look in the summer I really like mermaid waves and so you just want to get out of the shower towel dry your hair brush it out and then I like to just spray that all over sprinch my hair like this and then I just let it air dry and I feel like it just looks so pretty and if you feel like your roots are just kind of like meh against your head the big sexy hair root pump I feel like works really really well so you could just do that before, spray that in, do the whole routine, and I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the whole mermaid look in the summer. It just makes sense, you know? Whoops. And since I have highlighted hair, purple shampoo is absolutely necessary for me, and I just went through my Shimmer Lights one from... Is that just its own line? Shimmer Lights? Shimmer? Something? Purple. Purple shampoo from Sally Beauty. 
picture right here. So I just worked through that one and I feel like when I would do this like once a week and do like purple shampoo treatment and really, really do it to my hair and then get the hair mask going and try to like, you know, bring back some of the moisture, it was just drying out my hair and it just wasn't very happy. So when I finally started to incorporate just a little bit of purple shampoo into my regular shampoo and then just use a regular conditioner, I felt like it just brightened my hair and it made it happier because it wasn't completely drying it out at the same time. So what I have been using is the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo and I really really like this incorporated into just a normal shampoo and I feel like it's going to make this product last a lot longer and since this is a little bit more on the expensive side I like that I can like you know eke it out over a longer amount of time. So I just, I think the packaging is really cool. I love dry bar products and I feel like this just really brightens up my hair and it takes the coppery tones out of my highlights because I do like to keep them just a little bit brighter and maybe even more on the ashy side, even though I have kind of like caramely highlights in there too, but it doesn't remove any of the caramel tone. It just brightens up like the platinum pieces, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm super Super happy with this guy and that's how I've been doing my hair lately. That guy is absolutely wonderful. So what was your favorite beauty product in the month of July? Go ahead and leave a comment down below because I love trying new things and I believe that's it. All right my darlings I love you all daily and I will see you next time in my new video and remember be kind, be smart, and be glamorous.